Uh, today I will tell you something about gout. Uh, so first start with a question, what is gout? It is an illness of the joints and uh, where there uh, is deposition of sodium urate crystals in or around a joint. And uh, you might also have heard about pseudogout and the difference is uh, in the crystals. Uh, over here there are calcium pyrophosphate or hydroxyapatite crystals instead of the sodium urate crystals in gout. Uh, so what we see, uh, and I will show you pictures, uh, is that there is arthritis, so uh, inflammation of the joint in reaction to these urate crystals. So let's look at the epidemiology. Um, we see that it's way more frequent in males than in females, a 10 to 1 ratio and uh, that's, it starts around the age of 40 in males and the age of 55 in females. Some risk factors, um, it is a, a, wealth, a wealth disease, uh, so it's associated with uh, cardiovascular risk factors uh, and also with alcohol uh, and obesity um, and also with an increase in uh, uric acid in your blood and we will come to that at the pathophysiology. So uh, let's get to the clinical image and uh, I will show you uh, a picture of it. Uh, so over here, uh, this is what it looks like. Um, what we see uh, over here, this is a gout attack and um, this can start within hours. What you see over here is the, is the patient likely has uh, pain in his joint. Uh, there's redness, uh, there's heat or warmth. Uh, it is swollen and uh, typically for gout is that it's usually one joint and also typically for gout is that it's disjoint over here so it's usually it's the MTP so the meto, uh, meta tarso phalangeal joint uh, number one uh, of the foot so um, that's really typical think about gout then when you see this uh, and it's called a podegra um, then uh, more important is that the attack usually starts uh, or occurs at night and it can take days to weeks and uh, when a patient has, his, has had his first uh, attack then usually two or three more attacks uh, follow in the same year. Besides uh, the podegra, other uh, joints can be affected such as the ankle, the knee, the elbow, the MCP, uh, joints of the hand and the wrist. And if it's not treated well, uh, you can get a chronic form uh, of gout and uh, this can look like a destructive polyarthritis, a little bit look like uh, rheumatoid arthritis uh, because there are also multiple joints uh, affected over there. And uh, what's typical is that there might be uric acid depositions that are called TOFI and I'll have show you a picture over here. It looks really nasty. So this is what these tofi look like. Um, and that's the deuric acid deposit in your fingers. And it's uh, it appears in, um, in chronic gout. So these are the preference, the places they prefer to be. Um, then the pathophysiology. So what we have over here. Um, so here we have uric acid and uh, uric acid can be formed out of xanthine by the enzyme xanthine oxidase and that's uh, like the breakdown product of something that is really common and we all know uh, it's the DNA or the RNA that's in our cells and also the ribose 5-phosphate is a breakdown product of glucose um, so it's a sugar group and what happens if we have DNA or the sugar group it gets broken down uh, to guanine or hypoxanthine xanthine, and uh, it's broken down to xanthine you get uric acid so and uric acid is uh, what these crystals are made of so um, this is like your normal physiology about it um, this one is also broken down by xanthine oxidase this one and what, what usually what happens in uh, gout is that your uh, uric acid increases and it is because of um, you might eat too much meat, so you have more DNA and RNA to break down because of more cells. Uh, you can have leukemia or diseases like that. 
um, where there is more breakdown of cells, so there will also be more DNA and RNA. You can drink lots of high sugar, uh, so there will be more glucose products, uh, or you can have leishnayan, which is an uh, enzyme deficiency. And um, the disease, I will get into it right now, is a disease um, that kind of blocks the escape route uh, of the formation of uric acid because usually what happens is that DNA breaks down to guanine and ribose 5-phosphate breaks down to hypoxanthine and this enzyme, the hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase um, reverses uh, this product into this one but if you have a shortage or deficiency of this one uh, then you will get more uric acid and uh, that is called to leshni and, and uh, we also see mental problems uh, with his children uh, or adolescents and think about it when you see godlike symptoms at a young age. So that is pretty much the pathophysiology that you will have an increased uric acid and it can uh, deposit over there. Oh, also something important is that you can have increased um, DNA or ribose 5-phosphate um, but you can also have decreased um, excretion of the uric acid because normally two-third is excreted through the kidneys. Uh, so if you have a renal insufficiency, insufficiency uh, which is pretty common um, in the Western world where people have cardiovascular diseases, um, they will have less uh, excretion of uric acid so you will get higher levels and a higher chance of uh, deposits in your joints. Uh, what also is true that alcohol inhibits the secretion of uric acid in the kidneys, so uh, that's also important that alcohol is a risk factor. We knew that from over here. Uh, obesity, these are all associated with cardiovascular risk factors and they're associated with renal uh, failure. Um, so let's get to the diagnosis right now. So it's diagnosed by uh, taking uh, joint fluid from the joint and uh, then use a polarized microscope and uh, then you might see uh, those crystals. And what it looks like is like this. So uh, over there. So this is what it looks like, on the left you see what it looks like in uh, gout, on the right you see what it looks like in uh, pseudogout. So over here on the left you have the needle shaped um, needles, the needle shaped forms. And on the right you see the, rom the rhomboid shapes and uh, that's typical for gout or pseudogout. Also one more important difference is that uh, as I told you before, that the gout uh, usually affects the depodigra or the MTP1 joint uh, in the foot, and uh, that the pseudogout usually affects the knee and the larger joints. All right, let's get to the treatment. So uh, there's inflammation, so you want to get the inflammation down if you have a acute uh, or subacute gout attack. So we want to use NSAIDs uh, for that. And if you want to be really quick, you can use corticosteroids, uh, an injection in the joint. But um, I think the first step is to use NSAIDs. And also really important is the lifestyle changes because we saw that uh, gout has a high association with uh, drinking a lot of alcohol and obesity, a lot of sugary foods. So you want to get those down. Um, and then we also get to uh, the prevention part. I actually have some problems getting it up right now. Maybe I can do it like this, yeah. Um, and then what we see is that uh, for the prevention, uh, you want to do some lifestyle changes because you want to get your uric acid levels down. Um, you want to uh, also is there, there's an indication for reducing uric acid if there are uh, three or more gout attacks per year. And they will have to uh, reduce your uric acid lifelong. And it's also important that they look for the cause of uh, this increase in uric acid. Uh, medication you can use for that is allopurinol. 
and this uh, inhibits the xanthine oxidase enzyme enzyme so it's over here and uh, if you and inhibit this one you get less uric acid and more of these products um, you can also use an uracircum and that one is called benzobromoron and that uh, has to do something with the kidneys um, I forgot the detail but um, I think it I think it was something with uh, increased excretion but important to know is that this will not work uh, if you have uh, a, t a too uh, low uh, glomerular filtration rate or too much kidney failure so uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about gout um, I hope this really helped and um, yeah if you have any questions just uh, feel free to ask thank you very much